the uh, resorting phenomenon and how much of that is happening has been a hotly debated issue on uh, both sides. Uh, one side arguing that there's a lot of resorting that is happening starting all the way 2006-2007 uh, onwards, uh, with uh, is, uh, especially intensifying around 2010 to 11. And then the other side that says, well, a little of it has happened, but it has really cooled down, and probably we see a lot less resorting than uh, what is advertised. The data is typically presented uh, from uh, different consulting companies having different uh, viewpoints. On uh, the resorting wave as being uh, significant is uh, the Boston Consulting Group, and the Resorting Institute, which uh, is a non-profit organization cooperating with the University of San Diego Supply Chain Management Center, uh, has presented the case uh, that uh, resorting uh, is happened, has happened, and there are strong factors that are arguing for it. Especially if you go after 2005, 2006, there are four major drivers that someone can use to argue about resorting. It is uh, about inflation of wages in uh, China. It is about their currency getting much stronger. It is about oil prices at that point in time being quite expensive and logistic costs if you are going to ship all the way from uh, Asia to uh, North America being uh, very high. And at the same time, the fracking revolution in the uh, United States uh, that allowed for uh, low-cost energy and that will be very significant for companies uh, in uh, uh, that sector or for companies that are using energy a lot. So those four drivers were the thought rationale of why resorting should be happening and should be driving a lot of the manufacturing back to North America and to the U.S. And there was some uh, strong data uh, that appeared in 2010-2011 that appeared like there was uh, significant increases of manufacturing capacity in certain industries uh, in response to these factors. The other side of uh, the argument uh, is, uh, is going to go and say, well, uh, there's a little data for that. Uh, there are a lot of anecdotes and a lot of companies that uh, probably you could mention. But uh, when we go and we collect the data, and that is uh, the viewpoint that A.T. Kearney has put forward. If we calculate what they call the manufacturing import ratio, they are going to look for, uh, per dollar of domestic uh, manufactured goods in the United States uh, versus how much of manufactured goods were imported. If they calculate that ratio uh, with uh, the domestic manufactured output being the denominator, and the other one being the nominator, what they find is uh, probably around 2007, that was around 8%, and uh, starts getting closer to 12% as you can come closer to 2015. So therefore, there's a lot more importing of manufactured goods that is happening uh, with an argument that probably uh, offshoring is there, uh, continues to be significant. Uh, even though we see increases in manufacturing capacity, and that is part of the argument that Boston Consulting Group is, uh, is arguing about. It's not necessarily true that it is North American companies that are bringing back uh, some of their manufacturing. It could be that increase in manufacturing capacity is new uh, foreign direct investment that is happening in uh, this particular market. So there are both sides. You can argue both sides. Uh, you can find a lot of anecdotes for uh, one side or the other. You can find some data on one side or the other but the answer is not that definite.